guys, it's Jules. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to make this video today because I had a couple friends ask me about how I do my eyebrows and normally I do do my eyebrows in all of my makeup tutorials, but it's not the fastest way to watch how I do my eyebrows. So I decided to make a video on just my brows so that way you don't have to watch a whole makeup tutorial. If you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And without too much babbling, let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, so when you're starting your brow, I think it's really good to use like a spoolie. This one is an e.l.f. brush that is tool ended. And I just use this spoolie and you want to make sure you're brushing your brow hair in the direction that it's supposed to go. Let's go ahead and do both my brows. And then personally, I like to go in with a brow pencil. This is the It Cosmetics Brow Power in Universal Taupe. And this is a lighter brow product. And I like to use this in the front of my brow. My brow is basically the shape that I want. So shaping my brows isn't like such a big deal whenever I'm actually filling them in. I'm literally kind of like coloring them in in a way but not making it like look like a block, I guess. So uh, I usually just fill in the front part of my brow. And whenever you are uh, making your arch, you wanna make sure you're going from your nostril to when you're looking forward the outer part of your iris and that's where your arch should be so my arch is right where it's supposed to be right here and I usually just kind of go up there a little bit with it And I'm just lightly filling this in. I'm not like going in really hard or anything like that because it's a lot harder to take the color away than it is to lightly add it more and more. I'm also kind of avoiding this area right here uh, because I want that to be really light as well because I want this to look as gradual as I can possibly get it. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab that spoolie again and kind of just try and blend that area right there. And then next I'm gonna go into my Anastasia um, Dip Brow and this is in the shade Blonde. I wish this shade was a little bit lighter personally. I've been wanting to try the new Kat Von D Brow Pomade, but I just haven't got my hands on it yet. And I'm gonna be using, um, to apply this, I'm gonna be using the same e.l.f. brush that I was using um, the same elf brush that I was using with this bully on the end. So this is just the other side. And I actually need to clean this off because I'm messy and I forgot to clean it off before. So I like using a pencil in the front and then a pomade in the back just because the pencil for me ends up being lighter, especially since this pomade is the lightest color that this collection has. So even if I wanted to get something lighter here with a pomade, it's just not going to happen because this pomade is so dark. So I'm going to grab some of the pomade and you can see how much I've used. I'm going to grab like a little bit on here and then I'm going to brush it on the sides so that way I get a really, really precise sharp line. It's going to be very thin and then I'm going to start going on the tail end of my brow and go really really light. And you want your brow to end. If you're going to start with your nostril go to the outer corner of your eye to make that angle and that's where your brow should end. Once again, just going lightly. And since I'm doing my eyebrows today before my foundation, I can not be so careful about 
the lines because I can always go with concealer to clean it up. And then when I get more into the middle, I try and blend it in a little more here. So that way this looks more cohesive. Go back in with a spoolie, make sure it kind of looks the way that I want. This is a little thicker on the bottom here than what I typically would want. So I feel like I'm mostly done with this brow. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with some concealer to clean it up. So I just like using, this is a Wet n Wild flat uh, brush. I wanna say this is like a concealer brush, but the brush is synthetic and they're long. It's really nice. And you can really use whatever concealer you want, just as long as it kind of matches your foundation color. I'm gonna be using the um, Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. And I just put a little bit on the back of my hand because I don't wanna get any pomade or anything on the actual doe foot because then it could get in the concealer. Okay, so same thing going here and making sure I get it like just a little on there we're gonna go under here just to kind of clean everything up Okay, so I think I went a little too much on the concealer. This is a lot of... Brows are a very uh, like personal preference kind of thing, so the way I do my brows may not be the way other people like to do their brows, but... Okay, so for me, this brow looks really good and I made sure to do my tutorial on my good brow because this brow, she's a different story. Okay, so another reason why it's also really good to go in with concealer around your brow whenever you are doing your brows first is so that whenever you are doing your foundation that you don't need to touch the area around your brow. So I'm just gonna kinda Fill in a little more around here, kind of blend it in here. Because it honestly, when I'm doing my foundation first, I like to put powder down like before I even do my brows. Sometimes when I, I don't even think about it, I just put powder on, and then putting concealer on top of powder is just never a good idea. So that's why so doing your brows first is usually a good idea. And this is also sometimes when I'll notice if I have like any straggling brow hairs here that like I need to tweeze. Uh, and I see like a couple. So I'm gonna go ahead and tweeze those with just some tweezers. Okay, so this brow's done. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my other brow and then do the rest of my face and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that the rest of my makeup is done, the last step that I like to do with my eyebrows is to use a brow gel mascara. Is that what that is? Oh, yeah. Uh, and I use this Essence Make Me Brow. And this is in the shade Blonde, as I'm sure you could have probably guessed. Because I use the lightest shade in like basically everything. And I really just like to put this in the front of my brows not so much in the back because there's pomade back here, which is already keeping all of that hair in place. This mascara is to help keep everything in place. So I just like to 
brush them, the hairs up, so they'll also stay in place. And it also gives the individual hairs in the front of my brows a little bit more definition. Looks a little, it looks a little weird right now because it's still wet. I feel like when it dries, it doesn't look this weird. I feel like it looks weird right now. At least, especially on camera, it looks weird. But when it dries, it's not so weird. So that's it for this brow tutorial. I do just want to say once again that brows are such a personal preference. And if you don't like the way I do my brows, then that's okay. There are some ways that people do their brows that I don't like either. And that's okay too. This is just how I do them. And I just wanted to do a video and show you guys specifically how I do them. So that way you don't have to watch a whole makeup tutorial where you have to skip to where I do my brows. Because I usually don't skip it. But just to make this quick and easy. Or at least I tried. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in my next video.